Praise God, praise God, saints. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. It's good to see you this New Year. It's good to see everybody. This is Hilda Generation, and my name is Maureen Gashambi. And uh, welcome, welcome to today's broadcast. Kariboni Sana, those from Kenya. Uh, kindly let us know from wherever you're watching us from. And uh, if you have anything to uh, like prayer requests and uh, anybody that is sick, just uh, t uh, type it type it down here. And as we proceed, we, we will minister to you. So kindly, guys, I'm going to give you some few minutes to join us. Kindly join, kindly join and share. Share to many people as possible. I see you, Mama. Thank you so much, Mama Karis Lathbridge. Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Good to see you. I know God is blessing you. Okay, guys, kindly join, share. Let us do this together. I'm going to give you about five minutes. And uh, as we as we were as we are just waiting for more people, I've put some worship here. It's just a reflection of what God has God has done. So as we are as we are waiting for more people, just reflect on what God if God has been faithful to you, what he has done to you, just just thank him. Just thank him for what he has been doing. We just like to be thanked and you know to be glorified. Just glorify God as you are just waiting. Just see of his marvelous works, his wonderful uh, his wonderful deeds. He's been a faithful God. So I'm gonna give you guys about five minutes so we can proceed to join us. And I want you to join. Let us know from where you're watching us from. And if you have any prayer requests, if you have anyone that is sick, just type it down here. And as we are ministering, the man of God is here with us today. So today is a beautiful day. This is a good way to start the year. Okay, guys, share. And I'm also going to be sharing. What would I do? What could I do without your love? I see uh Brianna Jones, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Just stay with us. Don't go. Believe God had a word for everyone. So don't go. Don't go away. Kindly, guys, share. I'm going to give you five minutes. Five more minutes so we can proceed. What you done already. I see Doty Kemuma. Hello, Prophet and Maureen. Na great grace, you people carry. Pray for my marriage. Happy and uh, prosperous New Year. Okay, Doty, just stay with us and the man of God we pray for you. Don't go, just stay. Stay with us. And thank you so much. Happy New Year to you, Doty. Two more minutes, two more minutes. Always tuned in. Blessings, blessings to you, Doty. I see the woman of God, Millie Favor. She's here with us. Millie Favor, I trust that you are blessed where you are. You're much, much welcome. Speak. 
the word of God says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. So as we begin this year, just be that mouth, just be that uh, that voice from your mouth, release life. Do not as we begin, even in the midst of challenges, just, just put it in your mind that from the beginning of January, you'll be speaking life. Only the words that will be coming from your life, they'll be uh, from your mouth will be just words of life. Speak life. Because the Bible says that uh, life and death lies in the power of the tongue. So as we begin, that's the, what God wants us to uh, say right now. That as you begin this year, as you have started this year with that good pace, that speed, that positivity you have started with, do not let that that word that you have released, do not them fade away. Don't let them fade away as we begin, as we enter February, as we enter March. Continue with that, releasing good words. Speak life, speak lies, speak positivity, good words. Create things with your mouth. How you want your life to be, just speak it. And it's gonna be it. Okay? So I say, uh, forgive me the way I pronounce this name, I say Marjorie Johnson. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in. God richly bless you. Guys, as you have joined, do not go. I believe as we have started this year, this year 2022, God has a beautiful, God has a word to, for us. So don't go away. And today we are privileged to be with a man of God. So this is a day that the Lord has made and you should be glad and rejoice in it. Rejoice in this day. And mark this day in your calendar. Mark this day, you tell me. You come back and tell me what God did to you through this day. Okay, guys, without further ado, I think I'm going to start so we can proceed. We're going to start. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you for even taking your time to join us. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Uh, I'm blessed. Thank you. Good to see you all. Good to see you too, woman of God. Okay, without further ado, just close your eyes from wherever you are and lift up your hands and uh, let's, uh, let's just pray. Let's praise God for his faithfulness, for his goodness. Let's thank him. Father, we thank you. Father, we glorify your name. Father, Lord, you're a good father. Your nature is good and you can never change, oh God. You're always good. You're a good father, Lord. Father, we glorify your name. Father, we worship your name, Jesus. Because there's no name, oh God, that is above your name, oh God. Father, we thank you because the, your plans to us, us, oh God, are plans of good and not of evil, Lord. Father, we thank you for this year that you started 2020, to God. And Father, you've told us that how good and pleasant it is for brethren to come together in unity. Father, Lord, as we have come together today in unity, God. Father, Lord, let your presence be with us, oh God. You've told us that those that come together, Lord, is like the precious ointment that ran through the beard and through, through the head of Aaron. Father Lord, as we have come together from every nation, as we have summoned ourselves here together, Father Lord, let those anointings flow, God, that wish, Lord, that you have for us, oh God, this day, God. Father, let it be done in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we worship you, God. Father, we thank you, God, for this day, God, for this third of January, God, for there are many, Lord, that started with us, oh God, and they are not here, God. Father, we thank you for you have good plans for us. Father, we glorify your name. Just lift up, just open your mouth from wherever you are, from wherever you are watching us from. Just thank God. Even for him making you see the third day of January, there are those that did not see it. Just thank him. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for breathing your breath upon us, Lord. Thank you for the air that we breathe, oh God. Thank you, God, Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, for calling us, O oh God, by your name, O oh God. For calling us your name, O oh God. Father, we glorify your name, Jesus. Father, we exalt your name, O oh Lord. Father, we exalt your name, O oh Lord. 
Lift up your hands, O oh, Ike, and be lifted up, be everlasting, though, that the King of glory may come. In. Just lift up oh, those hands that glorify your name. Just glorify God. Glorify Him. Just worship Him. Just worship Him for who He is. And let, him, let your heart be open that He may come in. As we start off today, let your heart be open. Let your mind be open. Let everything in you, let everything in you praise the Lord today. Let it be open that the King of glory may come in, in your life. In the mind. Name we of the Son Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name, Jesus. Father, we exalt your name, God, because it's one name of God that is above your name. The King of all kings, the Archive of God. You reign on high, God, and you don't share your seat in memory and so God. No one can take you from your throne, God. The earth is the Lord and the fullness of God. Father, everything that exists is for God. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name, Jesus. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for calling us, O God, by your name, O God. Thank you for creating us, Lord, in your own image after likeness, O God. For Lord, as we behold you, Lord, in a glance, O God, we are transformed, O God, into your image. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you. We are blessed towards us, O God. We are blessed towards us, O God. For your blessed towards this January, God, a blessed of good, a blessed of good, a blessed of good, to give us an expected future, Lord. Oh, Jesus, Father, we thank you. We are expected of the good things. We are expected, oh God, of every blessing. We are very expected of the good things, oh God. We are expected of every blessing, oh God. We are very expected of every blessing, oh God. We are very expected of every blessing, Le barianta imakuka parado shikiri anaya. Le baruana imakuka parado shikiri anaya. Le kimene kule hasu ne tera. Ne kimene kana na suke. Le kimene kana na suke ne tera. Ne karianta ya. Maria ni imakuka parado shikiri ya. Le kapara da da bo shiri ya na la 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 la. Le kimene kana na suke ne tera. Le kimene kana na suke ne tera. Le kimene kana na suke ne tera. In the name of Jesus. Kapara da da da. I want us to Le 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus, 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, God, yes, God, yes, God, yes, God. As many as are led of the Holy Spirit, they are the sons of Holy Spirit. We sit by your leading, we follow your leading, we follow your leading, we speak what your word, we want us to speak, oh God. Father, we are ready, we yield our self to you, God, that you express yourself to us in however law you want to express to God. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you and we glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the name of Jesus, God Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Holy Amen. Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, God. Karadada Bushika Paradusha. So, brethren, uh, without wait, wasting too much time, today we are privileged to be having the man of God, Prophet Gilbert Radbridge, and he's my papa. So, guys, wherever you are, just jam your hands together as we welcome the man of God to minister to us. Papa, you are very much welcome. You are welcome, Papa. Thank you. Good to have you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I believe I believe everybody can hear me well. Yes. Okay. First of all, we give God a praise for such a, a wonderful opportunity to come on my daughter's um, their platform called Yielded Generation. And I strongly believe that God is taking Yielded Generation to another level of grace. And it will be so amazing. And, and and secondly, wherever that my wife is, I, I I love you. I thank you for all that you've been doing, taking care of the family. And sometimes I can come on the platform and uh, tell you, Maureen, Millie, God, Richie, bless you a lot for such a wonderful mm -hmm. thing that you guys are doing. And everybody who is watching us, we will never take it for granted. May God, Richie, bless you all for, mm -hmm. for even... Uh, spending time to come on our platform to to hear the word of God. God to <clears throat> bless everybody. Before we start, I want us to begin with prayer. Spirit of living God, we give you praise. We give you honor. We lift this afternoon event into your hands. We come against any spirits, any forces, any demons that will decide, plan to fight against what we are about to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, we repeat them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, let your angels activate in every virus of someone who is watching us house. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your presence make uh, manifest. Let your angels be around by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, in the familiar spirits, in the spirits that will try to speak, <laughs> that is not from God. We silence it in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever that you are watching us from, I pray that may Jehovah elevate you. Uh, may Jehovah open doors of heaven into your life. Uh, in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus Christ, wherever that you are watching me, and if under the sound of my voice this afternoon, I pray for you that may God open any, any doors that belongs to you, any hindrances, any demon <coughs> veil that is around you. Uh, we cancel it and we remove it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Devil, you are a liar. And you're already been defeated, not today. Mm. But when our father came on earth, he gave us the authority to put you under our feet. So that is where you belong. Leave the children of God to get their liberty in the name of Jesus Christ that I pray. Amen. 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 God bless Amen. you all for, for, mm. for joining us. And may God richly bless you. I was about to talk about something that God put on my heart when I saw the 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 team that you brought. I was like, I love this team. I love this. I love I love the scripture that you put over there. I was I was so happy. Mm -hmm. Sorry, someone called me. Can you guys hear me? Yes. <clears throat> Can you hear us, Papa? Okay. Over here, I cannot see, so I thought, oh, what is wrong with my, someone called me, so. Okay. Someone called me, so I cannot see it on my, on my, on my, on my phone. But all the same, we will continue. Um, I would like, I would like for you to put um, the scripture that you put on the flyer on, on mm -hmm. the comment below, and we will discuss a little bit about it. The one on, on the, the flyer? Below. Yeah. For us to discuss a little bit about it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Shakataya. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Just put it there for us. Or if I can pull it out on my on my computer. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Let me pull it from my computer. Don't worry, I'm pulling on my computer and we can we mm. can use it. Yes. You were talking about Job. Okay. Uh, Job mm -hmm. chapter 20 at, at 33. I beg my pardon. Job chapter 20. At, sorry, Job chapter 32 verse 8 mm -hmm. but there is a spirit <clears throat> in a man an inspiration of the almighty give it them understanding i want us to know how this scripture came from and how it was written in in in, in the bible and first of all how would we know who said that who said that and what made the person say that you know the book of job is one of the oldest books it's one of the oldest yeah. books even when you are talking about um job uh, a lot of people believe that uh it was an inspiration from um uh, uh, moses had that opportunity to record them when he went and and live at at all <coughs> for 40 years so that was the place that uh, uh moses that is how some scholars are saying recorded it. So this was a book that was part of uh, uh, the ones that Moses wrote. So this book is not a book that 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 is an ordinary. It's a serious book, and it was written by 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 Moses. So it's one of the old oldest books, and the scripture that you put in there is very inspiration, very powerful. How did this scripture came about? There was one guy called. <clears throat> Elihu, called Elihu, 
this guy this guy was somebody who was um from 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 the side of abraham abraham and 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 this guy was somebody who was very much more spiritual but very very young was very very young when you talk about elihu 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 um come from uh, um the tribe of of abraham and and he was somebody who was really really anointed but a very very young guy very very young guy so so he was afraid because he was really young he was really afraid and 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 his his father was called a uh, uh, barachel barachel i believe and this barachel's father was also called um um Baz. and Baz is Baz is a nephew to 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 abraham a nephew to abraham so you can know that when you're talking about abraham when you're talking about abraham it's an old book when you're talking about abraham it's an old book if abraham's nephew is um um, um is Baz, and Baz. <clears throat> Bar's son was Barachel, and Barachel gave birth to uh, Elihu. So you can know that we are talking about we are talking about a certain generation that is not uh, a near ge a generation, but because people were much more spiritual and they know how to put the books together, that made Job went far. But Job was really really close to um, Genesis, Genesis, even I can say Genesis, Job, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. So it's an old book. If you are with, I just wanted us to record that thing and 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 we talk more about it so the reason why this scripture came this guy was very very this guy was a young guy wanted some people to 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 advise job when job went into problem they needed some people to come closer to job and and advise and because he was little because he was young he limited himself for the for the for the old people to speak for the old people to speak so here come when um this guy allowed those people to speak when you study the scripture from uh, uh job chapter uh, 32 verse 1 going that is that is where you understand that's where you understand so when he made those people spoke he made those people spoke those people couldn't say something reasonable and this guy thought that when if you are matured, you have much more experience. If you are matured, you have you have much 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 more wisdom and understanding. So he limited himself for the friends of Job to speak. But after after they spoke, this guy felt like, oh my God, is that all that you guys can give? Is that all that you guys can give to help Job? I think the words that you guys are saying is not even helping him. The words that you guys are saying is even limiting him. So, so I have to come in. That is where this guy came with that scripture, and I want us to read. I want us to read um, one of my one of my. This thing is not working. I want us to read for us to understand better. Mm -hmm. From from Job chapter uh, thirty two verse eight eight eight. Go. You start from six. You start from six. Okay. Mm -hmm. You start from six. The devil is a liar. My my piece is not working over here. So let me. I want us to get more explanation. Yeah. So let, let me, me try and type here. it for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm reading the King James Version. Let me read. <clears throat> Job chapter 32, verse 6. So Elihu, mm -hmm. son of Barakel, the Baza, said, I am young in years. I am young in years. Mm -hmm. That is why I was fearful. That is why I was fearful. Not daring to tell you what I know. Not daring to tell you what I know. I thought, now, I thought, age should speak i thought age should speak advanced years should teach wisdom advanced years to teach wisdom 
But so when this guy thought that he was young, so when people were advising you, when people are talking like trying to talk to the congregation because he was mm -hmm. young, so he was very, very fearful and allowed the old people to speak. Yeah? But when the old people spoke, you got to know that there is nothing in them. So this mm -hmm. guy is somebody who was really, really anointed with much more wisdom, with much more prophetic. Yeah? So when he heard them speaking and verse eight, that is where he said, but it is the spirit in a person the mm. bread of Almighty oh that gives mm. them understanding, mm. and it's not mm. only the old who who are wise, not only mm. the age who understand what is right. I am reading from NIV. So this guy said, I want to tell you something. Anybody who's watching me right now, maybe there are times that you will feel you will feel intimidated. There are times that you will feel. Uh, dismayed. There are times that you feel limited because you think that there are some people who know better. That that things can hinder you. But God has given you something special, something unique that everybody doesn't have. That is why I said your fingerprint is different. So it doesn't matter who is doing well. It doesn't matter who God has raised. Or it doesn't matter who is up there. When your time comes for God to speak through you, don't be fearful. Don't limit yourself. Don't despise yourself. So Paul told Timothy, Timothy, never despise yourself because of your youth there is something great in your youth like wisdom is not about someone who is <coughs> age there is what i'm saying that in 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 physical aspect we all know that when somebody is much more matured meaning that the person has went through a lot and the person has got wisdom through experience because if you if you've been aged meaning that you've seen a lot of things but there are some people that have been aged they are really really aged they are really really grown up but they are like a child who is like five years they doesn't know nothing there are some people so if you think that people who are aged for instance for instance it will come a time that people thought that we have to get leaders who are very very old and mature meaning that mm. there are some people who have lived long and they have wisdom but Eli who is telling us that it's not about someone who is aged and it's not about somebody who is young that was what he expected that is what he thought but he got to know that there is a spirit in the man there is a spirit in the man that okay. knows everything there is a spirit in the man that reveals mm. secrets there is a mm. spirit in the man that reveals things that even mature people doesn't know there is a spirit in the man that reveals review things that old people doesn't know so i shouldn't rely on you people i know i thought that there is something great in you so i limited myself i am here to speak to somebody that don't limit yourself there is a spirit in a man that review mysteries there is a spirit in a man that review prophetic and if you're under the sound of my voice this afternoon i speak into your life that made the same spirit that and the same spirit that came on Elihud uh, to speak yes. prophetically to advise Job, uh, may that spirit come onto your life uh, in the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I am seeing that spirit in a man uh, coming onto somebody, and from that always, uh, you will begin to speak as never before. Uh, you will begin to speak as a prophet of God. Uh, you will begin to say things that are beyond even your imagination. It is a spirit in a man. Don't think when I was coming. As a minister of God, when I was serving, and when I see people prophesying, when I see people mention names that are that are that are that are prophetic entertainment, that but God gave that names and towns to some people for them to know that God knows them. So when I heard people prophesying, I was like, God, how can I know all these things? So should I go and visit some town and countries, some places, or should I go and take a certain dictionary or a map that talk about the world and study them in my mind so that I can. I know that if I'm standing there, if you say that somebody is from this, I can know, I can know because I have read the book or maybe I have read um, uh, the map to know. That is what I was thinking because I heard people prophesying. I was like, I have to go and let all those town countries and put in my mind. But it's not like that. <laughs> there is a spirit in the man. When it come mm. upon you, you like can that. do all things through Christ who strengthens you. When mm. the spirit come upon you, the things that you haven't learned, uh, this spirit is beyond qualification of education. This spirit is beyond somebody who is mature. This spirit is beyond somebody who is old. Uh, I, have, I have been in the ministry and I know some people who are aged, who are like their 50s, 
bad. They don't know nothing. And there are some people who are like in their 15s and their 16 to 20. God has given them a certain wisdom that they need the platform to speak. But because some people are aged, so we thought that they are the ones who can handle like I am mm. here to tell you I something. Got. If you are watching me, it doesn't matter the great prophet that you are seeing. It doesn't matter the great minister that, that know the word that you are seeing will intimidate mm. you or limit you when that spirit mm. of the or when that spirit in the man comes upon you. There are some things that you will say that even those that are mature, those that are qualified, even the scholars will not understand. That's the person that that is the spirit that I'm speaking right now. And I want to I want to impart people with this spirit because when you talk about my life, I have no I have I have I have no better uh, 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 education. Like my my I don't have uh, like a record a better uh, education record. When I speak, when I talk a little bit about myself, my dad died when I was like 14, uh, 13, 14 years. My mom died when I was like nine years. My sisters, they are not some people who have money. So how can I get a better education? So, so, so in the, in the system of man, when God is about to call some people, they, their mind is like God needs some people who are educated, lawyers, doctors, those that have their PhD. But ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you something. When Jesus came and called the disciples, the, the, he shows 10 of them were illiterate. Even 11 of them were Ill illiterate. I am here to tell you something. Don't let anything despise you. Huh? Don't let anything let you give up. Don't let anything, anything, anything uh, uh, worries you. When that spirit in the man comes upon you, huh? you can do all things. You can do all things. Huh? You don't need to go and Better your education. You don't need to go and borrow some money. You don't need to go and speak to someone. When that spirit come upon you, there are things that you are about to do. I am here to speak to somebody who is down. I am here to speak to somebody who is doing ministry. I am here to speak to somebody who has started ministry that never give up because of the people that you are seeing. Those people who carry mysteries and understanding. Those people who carry prophetic. Those people who carry the knowledge of God. But I am here to speak to you the same spirit that is, that is in those people will come upon you and the bible said the glory of the later day shall be even greater than the former when that spirit the, when that spirit in the man come upon you the glory of the later days shall be greater than the former those that are doing well today you will do better than them those that are prophesying today you will prophesy better than them those that are preaching the word you will preach better than them those that are doing well you will do well better than them that is that is what the bible has said there is a spirit in the man. Amen. I taught you people have wisdom because you are aged. I taught you mm. people have knowledge because you are aged. But today I have realized that it's not about age. It's about the spirit mm. in the man. It's not about Amen. someone who is graduated. It's the spirit mm. in the man. I it's not it. somebody who has the PhD. It's the spirit mm. in the man. That spirit doesn't need any qualification. That spirit doesn't need somebody who is rich. That spirit doesn't need somebody who is a tall person. That spirit doesn't need somebody who is very beautiful. That spirit doesn't need somebody who is rich. But that spirit needs just a broken heart. Somebody, somebody who thought that he's <laughs> nobody. Somebody thinking that he cannot do nothing. But that person serves God. That person has a willing heart to serve God. I see that spirit in man coming onto that person. In the name of Jesus Christ, Kaparada Kapariantaya, Ikapayado the Bible said, according to Second Chronicles chapter 20, the Bible said the priests were there, the people were there, the Levites were there. But when they began to fast and pray, the Bible said the Spirit of the Lord came upon an ordinary person, an ordinary person, and that person gave them a direction of what was what is about to happen, how they are pre how how the war will how the, the war will end, the victory, the duties of the war. God gave to an ordinary person, Karada Kapariya Kapa. 
an ordinary person. Nobody thought, nobody thought that 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 a certain donkey can be can be can be in a, a can be someone unique for people to put their, their their cloth on the floor for this donkey. The donkey that was rejected when that spirit in the man sat on 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 Adam, the donkey became famous. You don't need nothing. You need the spirit to come upon you. You need that spirit to come upon you. And if you are watching right now, I want you to begin to pray with that. God, let that spirit in man come upon me huh, to reveal mysteries, huh, to reveal hidden things in my family, to speak to me, huh, to give me wisdom and understanding. Huh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let that spirit of man huh, come upon me. Huh, in the name of Jesus Christ, Canada, the Bushiki, and Tapa, Rekete de Bushaya, Imakuka Parada Bazua Baria, Lebraku Caparantaya, Imanuana Marica Paya de Shikiha, Rekete Kapa, Rekete Kapa, Rekete Kapa, Rekete Kapa, Rakapaya da Shakapaya da Ha, Rekete de Bushaya, Imanuana, Imakuka Parada Shikiha, Rekete de Deha, but there is a spirit in the man, the inspiration of the Almighty, giving them understanding. May that spirit, may that spirit, may that spirit in the man have. May that spirit in the man come upon you. The Bible says, Jesus Christ, full of the Holy Spirit, full of the Holy Spirit, full of the Holy Spirit, not limit spirit, not limit Holy Spirit, not half Holy Spirit, not quarter Holy Spirit, but full of the Holy Spirit. I speak as a prophet of God. May you receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May you receive such spirit that come upon a man Amen. to get understanding Amen. in the spiritual realm, to get understanding of the physical Amen. realm, to get understanding of any issue and problem. They are the one that solve problem that are, in, that are in the world. It doesn't matter what is going on in the world. There is a certain spirit in a man. When those things manifest, the person will begin to bring will begin to solve problems. I speak into your life. May that spirit in the man come upon you in the name of Jesus. I see that spirit in the man moving in the air, moving in the spiritual realm, and it's about to fall on somebody. And by the time that we finish this seminar, by the time that we finish this event, there are some people about to do things that you never you couldn't do some years ago. There are some people about to minister. There are some people. God is taking that fear out of you. That fear and panic. You know, Elihu. Elihu had the same fear and panic because of the, because of age. He had fear and panic in him, so it limited him because of age. Because of people who are being aged, until he realized that it doesn't matter if you are aged. It doesn't matter if you are a prophet. It doesn't matter if you are somebody. But there is a spirit in the man. When it comes up. Upon you, huh? ladies and gentlemen, huh? my daughters, my brothers, my sisters, my children, I am speaking into your life that never let anything dismay, di, di, dismay you, never let anything despise you. Huh? There is a spirit in the man huh? when it comes onto your life. Huh? Jeremiah said, I cannot speak. Jeremiah said, I am a child. Huh? I have seen a lot of people prophesying. I have seen a lot of great people prophesying. So when I calculate, huh? so when I assess, huh? so when I think of it, uh, and when I measure myself, uh, I can see that I am not qualified because I have seen great people ministering. Uh, I have seen doctors. I have seen lawyers. Uh, so Jeremiah said, I cannot do it uh, because when I measure, I am not part of it. I know there are some people who are watching me right now. You are measuring yourself uh, because of some people who are at the top. Uh, you are measuring yourself because of a friend that you saw t- uh, preaching and teaching so powerfully. You are measuring yourself and you are limiting yourself like Elihu. Uh, but I am here to speak to you. The same Elihu who had wisdom and understanding because of intimidation, uh, he, he, he was blocked because of intimidation he couldn't go far because of intimidation until he realized that it's not about anybody it's not about giant it's if it's about giant then david could not david could never kill goliath if it's about giant then 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 there are some people who are who cannot fit who cannot fit you don't know who you are don't change who you are but there is a spirit of there is a spirit in the mind when it comes onto you you can do things better you see you see you see when saw when king saw saw david and when king saw saw 
Goliath, even the giant. Saul was, when you study the Bible, the Bible says Saul was somebody who was a thick, tall person. Saul was a giant. Saul was a giant. Uh, but, but, but Goliath was, was, was taller than Saul. You all know when people are, when you are talking about Saul, someone who is thick, tall, we, we, very, very handsome. So when they saw David, they limited. Because me, Saul, I cannot fight this person. I have fought for my childhood uh, and I know how to go for battle. But this person that we are going to face is so big that I can't. I can never, I can never fight. I can never fight this person. So, 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 do you know what Saul did? Saul was like, okay, let me put my arm on you. Let me put my arm on you so that you can fight. And when David accepted the arm on, when David was working with that arm on, he felt like, no, I cannot go with this arm on. You see, you see, you see, don't, don't, for, don't try to do things that you are, you cannot do. Because David got to know that I have a certain guard. I have never tested this almond before. I have never tested this, 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 this almond before. But all that I know is my, is, is my stones. And I can use to kill this Goliath. So I will not wear this, this thing. You see, this thing, it nearly intimidated David. But David was like, no, there is a spirit in the man. I will never wear this. I will never wear this clothes. Because even bigger than me, I cannot wear, but there is a spirit in the man. I am here to <laughs> tell you something. Don't let anything, uh, don't let anything limit you. Don't let anything Anything, anything despise your youth. You can do it. Just believe in yourself. Don't take somebody's arm on, but there is a certain spirit when it comes upon you. Huh? You can do all things through Christ. That strengthens us. I am early with son of Barak, Barak the, the buzzard said, I am young and ye, I am young in years. It's not about you being young in years. It's about what is in you. It's not about you being a child. It's not about you being short. It's not about you being dark. It's not about you being fair. It's about the spirit in you. It's not about you going for a, 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 better, a better school. It's about the spirit that is in you. It's not about people who are grown in years. That is what early who taught Karadabo Shakara. Now I want to tell you something over here. I want to tell you something. The same verse, the same verse. The same verse, Karadadabusha, God help me. Karabusha kaparada ibazubiri antaya. Leke tedebusha kataya. Le mariantaya. In the same verse, Elihud says, Elihu says something. Le makaradabusha kiri antaya. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, uh, yes. Verse, 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 verse 17. Verse 17, verse 17, 18 and 19. Now, I have gotten to know, I have gotten to know that it's not about people who are age. Then let me bring my opinion. And the moment that this guy said, let me bring my opinion, mm -hmm. the spirit of the Lord took place. The spirit of the Lord, the spirit in the spirit in man enters him and he began to speak mm -hmm. ministries. And let's listen to what this guy said. 18, mm -hmm. for I am full of matter. I am full of matter. The mm -hmm. spirit within me is contrasting. The spirit within me and uh, uh, 19, the spirit, within, uh, the spirit within me is constrained, constrained, constrained me. 19, behold, my belly is as wine, which had no vent. My belly mm. is as wine, my belly is as wine, which had no vent. When you say vent, when you say vent, vent, when you say vent, vent is an opening, a, an opening space, a, an opening space that lets air, wind, mm -hmm. uh, gas come out. But this guy said, mine has no air in it. My, my belly is full of wine, and my wine is full, and my wine is, is covered. There is no vent in it. There is no air in it. No air can pass through because it is full. Meaning that the anointing that came upon him was so full that there was no space. There was no space. And in, in, in Hebrew, in Hebrew or in Jewish, when they bring wine, sometimes they open it so that air can pass through, so that it cannot it cannot best, uh, uh, and sometimes, sometimes, sometimes they 
either they will close but they will leave space so that so that so that it cannot burst but here come that this person said my is full and there is no place for the air to come out and i am speaking to somebody right now may the spirit of the lord come upon you in fully in the name Amen. of jesus people Amen. thought that when there is space meaning that you cannot burst you cannot you cannot burst so this guy said, i don't like it that way so when you study 19 he said behold my spirit is as wine which had no vent and it's ready to burst like a like a new bottle it's ready to burst when you talk about that burst is to destroy violently is to burst is to destroy is to be open is to be cracked Meaning that what is in me, I have covered it for a long time because I thought that I thought that age matters, so I was afraid. But I've gotten to know that there is a certain wine in me. My belly is full of wine that has no vent, that has no air, that has no space, and it's ready to burst. It's ready to do exploit. It's ready to get explosion. There is explosion that is coming. There is a certain anointing that is coming upon you, and you do exploit. There is no air. It is full capacity. He said, Let me tell you my mind. Let me tell you my mind. My belly is full. My belly is full. My belly is full as wine, which had no vent. We had no vent. I like no vent. We have no space that no air can even pass through. No rain can even pass through. No gas cannot can even pass because it is full. And when something is full, that is when that thing will burst. That thing will there will be explosion. So gas said to this person that you are somebody who is unique yeah? you are somebody who carries anointing yeah? you are somebody who's very 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 very, very uh, uh, radically but there is something that was stopping you but now that you've realized that it's not about age yeah? it's not about somebody who is doing well yeah? it's about the spirit when it comes upon you yeah? your stomach will be full like wine yeah? with no vent with no vent yeah? and it's ready to do exploit it's ready to burst yeah? it's ready it's ready to do explosion yeah? Karata kapaya do kepia. I am seeing a certain fire that is coming upon somebody, and that fire is bringing expl explosion to your family. Any witchcraft in your family, any demonic forces in your family, there is a fire in you that is about to do explosion. Leba karia kapaya kapaya there. Imaku kapara. When I studied this scripture, I was like, wow. This guy was somebody who was very, very much more wisdom. He was somebody who was very, very intelligent. He was somebody who was very, very anointed. But because of intimidation he couldn't go far because of intimidation he couldn't do well because of fear he couldn't do well so he buried what was in him until the spirit of man the spirit that is in man came upon him and he started to say there is something in my belly that is really full mm. and it has no vent Karada. we all know when you go to when you go to in scientists or uh, in, in 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 human wisdom when you buy wine there must be space so that it cannot burst it, it cannot burst. And 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 in humans and knowledge, sometimes something with gas, you have to open a little bit so that it will it will not do explore, it will not it will not explore. But this guy said that is what I want. I want to I want to explore. I want the gift in me. There is a gift that is coming upon somebody and it has no vent. It has no vent. There is anointing that is coming upon somebody and it has no vent. Mm -hmm. When there is no vent, the thing will burst. When there is no vent, the thing will exploit. When there is no vent, there will be a, a explosion. In the name of Jesus, there will be explosion. I am speaking to somebody right now. There is anointing that is coming upon you and it has no vent. It has no vent. And the there will be explosion in the name of Jesus Christ. Have you seen explosion before? When explosion do okay, now you see the place will be on fire and everything will burn. Even people around there will burn. But this is a positive explosion. The anointing in you is about to it is about to do exploit, and people will benefit from it. Now. People will get impact from it. People will get answer from you. People will get deliverance from you. People will get favor from you. People. Will get access to a certain place because of you, because you are doing exploit, yeah? ladies and gentlemen. Yeah? I see the spirit of the Lord that is coming upon you. You see, Jesus Christ was full of the Holy Spirit. There was no vent. There was no vent. There was no vent. And when you talk about new wine, new wine is made out of leather, a leather. So it will be very hardly for that thing to for that thing to explode. For that thing to they, it, it will be very hardly for it to be uh, for for explosion to uh, to happen. But this guy said, you people don't know hmm. how they made the bottle. 
in the olden days, they used leather, a serious leather. So it would be very, very hardly for that thing to be destroyed. So it, that thing represents us. Sometimes, sometimes we think that we are leather and it is good to be leather. I mean, it will be harder for you to destroy. But we think in the positive, we think in the negative side that this leather is not helping us to do well because it has hindered us, because it has intimidated us. You, you are thinking negative. So this guy said, I don't care what people are saying, but my wine, my wine is full in my belly and I am about to do exploit. Yeah? And I'm speaking to somebody right now. Huh? You are about to do exploit yeah? in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah? There is a spirit in the man. Yeah? May you receive that anointing by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah? There is somebody who is watching me and God is speaking to me that share with somebody, share with somebody because there is somebody in your family who needed to see this, who needed to see the share with your family member there is somebody who needed to see this in the name of jesus christ I am seeing somebody who is going through a certain issue. Mercy, 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 mugi, most mercy, mugiti. God said I should speak to somebody called mercy, mugiti. In the name of Jesus, that's why I said people need to share. In the name of Jesus, people need to share. Kaparantia, imaku kaparada zabrantia. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I see that person going through a certain issue, and God is speaking to me to speak to that person's life. And God said, I should pray for, I should pray for, I should pray for Andrews, I should pray for Andrews. In the name of, there is there is a lady on the uh, on the platform who knows Andrews, who knows Andrews, and and this Andrews that I'm talking about, Karadadaboshaya. Uh, there is one lady on the platform. I wanted to go back. Yeah, yeah. Dorothy, Dorothy, Dorothy. Do do anybody call Andrews? Andrews, 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 Andrews. Are do know Dorothy? Do know anybody call Andrews? Andrews, Andrews. Guys, I should pray for Andrews. Guys, I should pray for Andrews. If you don't know, don't worry. And who is that per, who is that person? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, they cut part of the in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. If you don't know, don't worry. I'm not seeing your message. God said I should pray for Andrews, and this Andrews is also connected. This Andrews, I know many Andrews. There is Andrews. Who is that person? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Andrew and Andrews. I think it will be it will be that Andrews. Andrews organ 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 I wanna pray for. I wanna pray for. I wanna pray for. I wanna pray for that Andrews. I wanna pray for that Andrews. And that Andrews. That's that Andrews. Know somebody called um um Mwanga Mwanga. I don't know if I mentioned where Mwanga. Mwanga, Mwanga, M O E N something like that, like like either G A or K A, Mwanga. I wanna pray for that because I am seeing, I am seeing that Andrews. There is a certain little girl who is dead, who is dead, and I think that girl belongs to that. And no, this Andrews, that this that this Andrews that I'm seeing is connected to that Mwanga that I'm talking about. It's connected to that Mwanga, and that is. That Andrews has the same name of M O S E M O S E M O S E. Guys, I should put M O S E M O S E. That Andrews has somebody. That Andrews last name is M O S E, and knows that Monga knows that Monga. And God said, I should speak. There is there is a certain child who is about to die, but God said, I should set that person free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, there is that spirit that come upon man, and there will be no vent. There will be no vent. There will be no vent. Yeah, do know that Andrews. Do know that Andrews. Mo, most, 
Do you know that Andrews? My spirit eye has opened because I am seeing, I am seeing the eagle of the Lord, the eagle of the Lord standing at my left side, and I am seeing the angel prophet standing at my right side. Meaning that it's going to be amazing. God is about to move endlessly. God is about to do something. Never despise yourself. There is a spirit when it comes to a man. There is a spirit in the man. When it comes to you, you get understanding of everything. You get the understanding of the prophetic. You get understanding of the word. You get understanding in deliverance. You get understanding in healing. And that anointing is coming upon somebody in the name of Jesus. And Elihu said, Elihu said, my, my anointing has no vent. My anointing has no vent. <laughs> it has no air. Air cannot pass through. Gas cannot pass through. Nothing can pass through. So it has made it so hard. And it's about to bust. It's about to do exploit. In the name of Jesus. Anytime that there is air, it's relaxed. So that that thing cannot do exploit. Anytime that gas can come through, meaning that thing cannot do exploit. So even when you buy, when you go back home, when you use our cylinders to fill gas, they will make sure that there, there will be air around it. That is why even when you go to grocery shop, not not if there is nothing that is full, you will see that you will see that they will need a space for air to come. That is why that thing cannot that thing cannot burst. But they, that thing cannot burst. But God is speaking to me that the anointing that He's putting on you, there is no vent, there is no vent, there is no vent. I'm in the name of Jesus, I want you to type that my anointing has no vent. My anointing has no vent. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody is about to die. Somebody is about to die. And the person is a child, but I'm praying for that person. That's why God said people need to share for people to get it. We cancel it in the name of Jesus. My anointing has no vent. My anointing has no vent. In the name of Jesus. That is how that is when you can do exploit. That is why an explosion can happen. In the name of Jesus. My anointing has no vent. In the name of Jesus. There is no gas in it. Gas cannot, if, it, if there is gas in it, 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 it is full. If there is air in it, it is full. Air cannot air cannot pass through. Air, my God, like parado shaka. So one day I will speak. I will teach you more about those things. The reason why the open is so that ha kara de kaparianta. Jesus Christ anointed has no vent. Has no vent. You know the Bible says Jesus Christ full of the Holy Spirit. So the fullness of the Holy Spirit was 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 in was in his belly. It's like it's like it's like those things wanted a place to go. Those things wanted a wanted you know when the anointing on you is so full that anointing wanted to come out. But if there is vent in it, if there is vent in it, the anointing will always relax. The anointing will always relax. But when the anointing is full, it needs to deliver some people. That is that is that is that is that is how that is why the Bible said Jesus Christ was tired. But when he saw the people, he had compassion, not just compassion, because the anointing in him wanted a place to flow. The anointing in him wanted a place to speak. The anointing in him wanted a place to do explore. So when the anointing on you is full, is very, very full, that is where you can do explore. That is why you can do a lot of things. I am seeing anointing that has come upon somebody, and it has no vent. It has no vent. It has no place for the air to pass. And you are about to do explore. If you are looking for a document, there's anointing that has come onto that document that has that has no vent that has no vent if you're looking for marriage there's a certain anointing of marriage that has come upon you that has no vent in the name of jesus if you're looking for business you want to start business if you're looking for a house if you're looking for something if you're looking for church if you're looking for something there's a certain anointing that has come upon you it has no vent it has no vent you are about to there is explosion that is there is explosion that is coming is coming there is explosion that is coming up in the name of jesus christ elihu was anointed person but elihu thought that he cannot do nothing ladies and gentlemen i want us to pray that god that let the anointing on me be full let the anointing on me be full people don't know that there are times that you don't want to come out but when you pray and the anointing becomes full on you that is why paul said steady hard to show thyself approved when you steady hard your your your, your belly will be full when you steady hard, the anointing on you be full, and you can prove yourself huh? in the name of Jesus Christ. People who relax and preach, huh? people, when it comes to prophetic, when I'm about to prophesy, I don't struggle, I don't panic, because it is something that is full in me, and even needed a place to do exploits, needed a place to open, to, to 
to pour out in the name of Jesus. If you have seen explosion before, that is how God is about to do for you. And this is in a positive way. Your anointing is about to do explore. The grace upon you is coming to do explore in the name of Jesus. I want us to begin and pray right now that God, God, let the anointing in me, let the anointing in me do explore in the name of Jesus. I need explosion of the anointing in me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, behold, my belly is my belly is. Uh, my belly is as wine, which have no vent, which have no vent, and uh, it's ready to burst. Uh, it's ready to burst. Uh, it's ready to burst like a new bottle. It's ready to burst like a new bottle. A new bottle. A new bottle. A new bottle. A new person. A new person. A young person. Somebody told I cannot do nothing. There is a new bottle that is in you. Huh? You are the new bottle. Huh? You are the new bottle. Huh? You are Amen. a new bottle. And you know Amen. something. People oh thought that a new bottle cannot burst. People thought that a new, a new bottle, there will be no explosion because it is new. People are expecting. So in scientists, even in knowledge, that is why we do maintenance. We do maintenance. When we go to gas station, there are some years they will come and do maintenance because they are thinking that it is old. They are thinking that it is old. These things has brainwashed some people that if you are a new, if you are young, if you are a child, if you are not grown in age, you think that you cannot, you cannot, you cannot pass. You think that you cannot do explore. But this guy said a new bottle. He didn't say an old bottle because he has seen a whole, he has seen a, a, an old bottle. People are aged, people are aged, but they couldn't say nothing good. They couldn't say anything wisdom. They couldn't say anything prophetic. He has seen people were old. He thought that that was the, the, the formula that people who are old can do exploit. But he realized that no, it's not about these people, but there's a spirit in the man. It doesn't matter if you are new. It doesn't matter if you just came into Christ. But when this spirit come upon you, it doesn't matter. So meaning that it will be impossible for a new bottle to bath. It will be impossible for a new bottle to do exploit. But this guy said, now I have realized, Kariaka, what is limiting you? What is limiting you? You cannot read the Bible. You cannot get inside of the Bible. Because when you study some people, you feel intimidated. No, 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 no. This guy said, a new bottle, it will be possible for a new bottle to do exploit. It will be possible for a young person like you to do exploit. It is impossible for an old person like you to do exploit. It doesn't matter if you are not called a prophet. It doesn't matter if you are not called an apostle. It doesn't matter if you if you if you don't have a certain qualification to get a certain job or a certain a certain house or a certain traveling door or whatever. But there is a new wine that carries there is a new bottle that carries a wine that has no vent. You have you are about to enter into a certain emergency when you see them when they see you you do explore you pass over them and they'll be running to give you visa when you go to a certain place and you're looking for something a house or i don't know what you're looking for you are about to do as well. You are full. You are full of anointing. And you need a place to pour it. In the name of Jesus. And 20, he said, I will speak that I may be refreshed. I will speak and I will be refreshed. Meaning that when you are being intimidated, you cannot speak. When you be intimidated, you cannot function. But the moment that you begin to speak, that is where you be, you, you you always become fresh. The more you speak, the wine will go and God will fill you with a different wine. That is a mystery wine from, 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 from the throne of Jasper. God will fill you with a different wine that are in the corridors of heaven in the name of Jesus. So the wine in you, if you feel intimidated, you can never be filled up. But this guy said, I will speak and I will be refilled. How can you speak and you'll be refilled? How can you pour what is in you and, you, and, and you'll be refilled? And God is speaking. The more you use what is new, don't let anything intimidate you. Huh? Now, if you come, uh, speak as never before. Huh? If you start doing something, do it as never before. Huh? The more you do, the more God will refill you. He said, I will speak and I will be, ref and I will be refreshed. I will speak and I will be refreshed. Refreshed refreshed 
I will speak and I'll be refreshed. The more you speak, the more you become smarter. The more you speak, the more you sharpening. You sharpen the grace on you. Huh? The more you take a bold step, huh? the more you go higher. David killed lions. David killed bears. The more he continued to kill, the more he get more experience in the spiritual realm. Huh? So this guy came and the spirit of the Lord came upon him huh? and he killed Goliath. And this guy felt refreshed huh? and it gave him another position to become a king. Huh? The, uh, intimidation will kill your, 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 your oil in you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Intimidation. Um, uh, 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 uh. Giving up, giving up. That is why people people commit suicide because they've given up. They think that there is nothing in them. They feel that people are doing well. They feel that my God, if you have right. life, just refresh yourself by speaking prophetic word into your life. I am a victory. I am a victorious. I am the head but not the tail. I will live but not die. I will be rich but not broke. I will be smart in the spirit but not dummy in the spirit. I will be mature but I'm not somebody who is a Fool, I will be I'll speak prophetic words into your life. The more you speak, you become refreshed in the name of Jesus. You refresh yourself by speaking the prophetic word onto your life. You refresh yourself by taking a step. You refresh yourself by speaking. You refresh yourself by praying. You refresh yourself by worshiping God. You refresh yourself by fasting. You refresh yourself when you stay under the, 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 the secret place of the most high God. You refresh yourself. So this guy said, The reason why I cannot do well is because I am not speaking. I was intimidated by you guys because of your age. But I've seen that there is a spirit in the man. I don't know what, I don't know. You don't need any prophetic word from me. This is a deeper prophetic that will change your life. In the name of Jesus, I want somebody to begin to prophesy unto himself. Huh? Begin to prophesy unto himself. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I will not die, but I will live and declare the works of the Lord. Huh? I will not die. I am victorious. Huh? I am the head, but not the tail. Huh? God is with me. Huh? Favor is on my side. Huh? Prosperity is on my side. That grace is on my side. I'm Oh my God, my prophetic grace is so serious and I will not die. I will live and see my great, great, great grandchildren in the name of Jesus. Not just seeing them, but with, the, with, 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 with wealth, with wealth, with wealth. In the name of Jesus, my children will not suffer. My children's children will not suffer. My church people will not suffer. Advice chapel will go high. Advice chapel will be heard all over the world. Advice, anybody who enter into advice chapel will be great person in the name of Jesus. Uh, advice chapel will become a secret place of the Lord, a secret place of the Lord. Uh, when you get there, you are saved. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, um, I want you to begin to prophesy unto yourself. He said, I will speak and I may be, I may be refreshed. I will open my lips and answer. I will open my lips and answer. When you open your lips, he said, I will open my lips and I will answer. This guy has knowledge. Mm. I will open my lips and answer. Meaning that if there is problem in the world, uh, you, when the Spirit comes upon you, you will bring answer. If people are going through issues, God will use you to inspire them. Um, you are the answer to the world by speaking. You are answer to the world by taking a step. You are answer to the world by taking a bold step. You are answer to the world with that intimidation. You will go far. You are the answer. He said, "When I when I I'll open my lips and I'll." He didn't say, "I'll open my lips and speak." He said, "I'll open my lips, and there will be answer." He will open his lips and and answer. So when somebody is sick, when you lay hand, there will be answer. When somebody is going through issues, uh, when, you, when you speak, there will be answer. If you want something right now, God says, speak, speak, and there will be answer. Take a step, there will be answer. What are you waiting for? Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, begin to prophesy unto yourself right now. Begin to prophesy unto yourself right now. 
Ladies and gentlemen, begin to prophesy unto your life in the name of Jesus. Does I pray for you? There is a spirit in the man when it comes to you, your traveling door will open in the name of Jesus Christ. Your marriage door will open. May you receive it in the name of Jesus. May you be the answer to the world by the power of the Holy Ghost. Brianna Jones, I speak into your life right now. There is a spirit in the man when it comes unto you, you do exploit and you do amazing things. May that spirit come upon you. I speak as a prophet of God. May that spirit come on, on you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Billy, that spirit, that spirit is coming into your life with full anointing. In the name of Jesus, the generation will never be small. It will, it will have a lot of branches. In the name of Jesus Christ, my wife, I speak into your life. May the grace, may the anointing that makes you full, makes you do exploit, come onto your life. In the name of Jesus, my Jory Johnson, you will not, you will not learn, but you, you, you will learn, but you will not, you will not borrow. You will never ever borrow in your life. God will make you a rich person. Your life will become like a tree, a tree, a tree that people will come for shelter. People will come and people will come for shelter. When people are going through a lot of problems, when they enter into your life, it will be like a tree. Your children will get shelter in the name of Jesus Christ. I see prophetic grace that is coming to somebody right now. I see prophetic grace that is coming to somebody right now. I see prophetic grace that is coming to somebody right now. My son, may you receive it. Uh, 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 Evans, may you receive that prophetic grace huh? in the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? If you are Jima, I speak prophetical into your life. Huh? There is a spirit in the man huh? that brings understanding. Huh? And may that spirit enter you. Huh? When this spirit enters you, huh? you are about to do exploit huh? in the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? When this spirit enters you, huh? in the negativity things in your life, huh? in the negativity things in your life, huh? may God mm. turn it to the positive act in the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? I speak into your life, Isaac. I speak into your life, Isaac. I speak into your life. May God bring breakthrough into your life. When when Abraham when Abraham was leaving his father's house, uh, the place that he was going was doesn't belong to him, but God gave the place to him. Isaac, uh, I speak into your life that may God give the place that you are into your hands. Uh, you will never come back home broke. Uh, may God use you to change lives. Uh, may you be answered to people's problems in the name of Jesus Christ. Dorothy, uh, there is a certain spirit that I'm seeing right now, and this spirit is the spirit of serpent, and and this spirit, this spirit of serpent is is fighting against a certain things in your family in the name of Jesus. But God said, I should pray for you and I should destroy that serpent. I should destroy that serpent. I should destroy that serpent in the name of Jesus. Do you know anybody called M O E? And G A G A G A God has to pray for that person in the name of Jesus. And the same serpent is fighting against that person. The same serpent is fighting against that person. I saw, I saw that person. God will bless that person. And the name that I mentioned will be a certain, it will be something that he will that she will use for a lot of things. She will use for a lot of things. But there is a certain demon in the family that is fighting against you. And that name that I mentioned, they are fighting against you, and that name that I, I mentioned. I saw that serpent who has been in the family for a long time time fighting against you and your blessings and this serpent if this serpent can be destroyed god said i should tell you that you and your siblings need to fast six to two six a.m to two p.m six a.m to two p.m in the name of jesus christ thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit in the name of jesus any serpent and spirit in the name of the may this may it be, uh, be destroyed by the power of the holy ghost there is god is coming to open god is coming to open some door for you but stay connected to God. Stay under the feet of God. Don't be, don't be limited. Don't be intimidated. Stay under the feet of God. There's a unique blessing that is coming. But if you can stay under the feet of God, not less than four months, something great is about to happen. In the name of Jesus. And when this thing happens, your marriage door, everything will be open. I speak for some people on the platform. Anybody wanted to get married, may the spirit of the Lord that comes on a man 
comes on you fully for you to get married by the power of the Holy Ghost. Huh? Mm-hmm. In the name of Jesus. Fellas, mm-hmm. I pray for you right now. May the Spirit of the Lord that come on man to do well, may that spirit come on you. When that spirit come on you, you may be refreshed by ancient people. May that anointing come upon you. And may when this anointing come upon you, may your house be filled up, be filled with happiness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I don't want to take some people's time. So maybe next time, in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Uh, 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 uh. The other generation, when you put this eagle and that horse over there, my spirit eye open and God said, This is what it, this is what he's about to do for the people on the platform. You are about to run faster, people are about to do well, people are about to do well. There is overtaking Amen. anointing that is coming. There's an overtaking anointing that is coming. The, the horse will take care of the land, and the eagles Amen. will take care of the spiritual realm. The horse will take care of the physical realm, and the eagle will take care of the spiritual realm. In the name of Jesus, people need to get ready for a massive breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. If you believe, shout, I believe. If you, if you believe, shout, I believe. In the name of Jesus. If you believe, type, I believe. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Maureen and Millie, because you guys created this page, I am praying for both of you. That may God bless you guys. In the name of Jesus. You be my daughters. I pray that may you receive the Father's blessings by Amen. the power of the Holy Ghost. From now onwards, you guys are about to do well in ministry, Amen. about to do well in businesses, about to do Amen. well in whatever that you guys decide to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, I, now that I've, I've sat on your platform, may mm. God bring great people, may God bring blessed people into your lives. In the name Amen. of Jesus, I see Amen. this becoming a studio. Your the generation Amen. will become like a studio. Your the generation will become like a TV station. Amen. In the name of Jesus God. Christ, may you guys Amen. receive it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Not less than a few days. Uh, God is about to do something. In the name of Jesus, Amen. that I pray. Amen. Amen. God will still bless you. And I've seen that they've put a cash up over there, the moment I'm on you over there. Anybody wanted to sow seed, just sow, and God will bless you. People know that God bless you when you sow seed. God will still bless you. In the name of Jesus, anybody who is willing to sow in the seed, just sow, and God will bless you, and we pray for you. God bless you. My daughter, Maureen, I'll hand it, I'll hand it over to you. God bless okay. you. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Papa. Thank you. Thank you for that word that you have released upon us. And uh, in Job, our anchor scripture was Job 32. So even if uh, if you go back, just sit in that scripture and meditate. Uh, and do not, uh, like the, uh, the Bible says that uh, there's a spirit in man. And as Papa has released that word, just sit and and move up because that spirit know, is volume, in you. Yeah, do not be intimidated. Not do not be despised in Jesus' mighty name. And if you want to activate that word, we have put the by sowing a seed. We have put the zeal number here, the moment number, and the cash up. We're gonna give you some few minutes if you want to activate that word as we have started in this year 2023. There's a spirit in man. That spirit to do exploit, to do uh, to do mighty and greater things. That spirit is in you. And so if you want to activate that word. You will have the cash up number there. We have the moment number. Kindly so. We're going to give you a few minutes before we leave to sow into that word and your life shall be blessed in Jesus' name. And Papa has also taught us the, uh, uh, when the last scripture says, I will speak that I may be refreshed. He has taught us the power of speaking. It's only when you can speak that we refresh. But speak positive words. Speak life. Speak good things to your life and you shall be refreshed in Jesus' mighty name. So kindly so, if, uh, if, you, have a, uh, if you are led, only those that are led to do so, to activate that word. This year, the Holy Spirit wants us to, to give a lot. So into the month of January and the rest of your month, you'll be settled. So just master the, the, the gift of giving. Be a giver. And you see God, God will speak for you in areas that even you, you are not able to speak for yourself. Uh, Dottie says, talk to me in person later, prophet. Papa Dottie says that she'll speak to her later in person. Passport. 
Uh, so guys, without fin, I've, uh, you guys, I hope you will take your time and so, and so without wasting too much uh, so time, guys, just go sit I've, in that uh, word. And Papa, you thank you so, so much for that word so, that you have so released towards us. Uh, thank you so much for the invitation, the anointing. And I thank you, God, richly really bless you and your family and God continue. Thank you so much for the invitation, the anointing. And I thank you, God, richly bless you and your family and God continue. Thank you, God, richly bless you and your family and God continue. Thank you, God, is that my side? Can you hear me now, please? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. You can hear me, Daddy. Yeah, my jury, my jury, my jury. So I see. Let's pray for my jury. Can you hear me? Okay. Spirit of living God, I pray for your daughter. Because of her heart, may you use that to bless her in the name of Jesus. Father, let the spirit that comes on a man, let that spirit come on her fully with no vent in the name of Jesus. That is when he can do that's when she can do exploit. May you receive the grace and the anointing in the name of Jesus that I pray for you. Amen. Amen. God which you bless you. All right, all right. Thank you guys for taking your time, for spending much of your time with us. And uh, as you go, just stay in the secret place of the Most High. Do not, do not move from the presence of God. Just stay there. And uh, I believe that He will continue to do great and mighty things for you this year, 2022. Be expectant. Just be very, very expectant of what God is doing and what He's about to do to you and your family. And so, guys, uh, until next time we're gonna be here next time maybe next week we'll let you know and thank you so much papa thank you for uh coming uh to yield the generation thank you for accepting the invite god richly bless you and your family Okay, thank you so much, guys. Thank you.